so a, a few weeks ago we mentioned uh on the show that this the governor of kansas sam brownback had completely gotten rid of uh or had signed an executive order getting rid of the kansas arts commission uh which is kind of the their state level arts funding organization and he was trying to spin it off into a private nonprofit. um and this this kind of thing is happening all over the place it's happening at the federal level with the national endowment for the arts but it's also happening at uh the state level in i i don't know every state but i'm gonna guess every state um and we just got a tip from Andrew Williams on, on the site. Uh, the that, Andrew Williams? I don't know if, I don't know what the Andrew Williams means, but um, <laughs> the it's a state representative. There's an, there is an Andrew Williams in Oklahoma that is a state representative and we're not sure if this is the same Andrew Williams please, or not. Please if, be Andrew, Andrew Williams. If you were the state representative, Andrew Williams, please let us know because we're very curious. Um, but anyway, the proposed budget for the um, for the state of Oklahoma includes a complete uh, dissolution yeah. dissolution of the Oklahoma Arts Council among other organizations. So it's it's not something that's unique to Kansas. I'm sure there will be many states that are going to just make staggering cuts that will require some pretty major reorganizations in these uh, groups at the state level. But Oklahoma is now trying to join the list of states that are just getting rid of these organizations altogether, yeah. which I think is ties into a lot of what we were talking about earlier um, with artists developing one-on-one -on -one relationships with their audiences and using tools like Kickstarter and using um, funding schemes that uh, play on that relationship so that they don't have to rely on things like this because we can't count on the state of Oklahoma uh, funding the right. Arts Council artists in Oklahoma are going to have to find other ways. Um, even, even if this arts council is cut, which I hope it's not, um, we have to have a, a backup plan. Right. And, um, we, we talked about this before, but the, the, the cutting of funding at the federal level and at the state level, um, does give, you know, some incentive and interesting prospects as to gaining uh, funding from other places that you might not even think about because you were just so used to getting funds from from at the government level. Right. Um, I will say that the the Oklahoma Arts Council is a, costs the state of Oklahoma a lot more than the Kansas Arts Commission hmm. did. Um, the Kansas Arts Commission was, I I think some uh, going back three weeks in my memory, something like seven hundred thousand um, dollars. The Oklahoma Arts Council and Oklahoma is a more populous state. Uh, was costing the state of Oklahoma about four and a half or four point four million. So that is more money that they're saving, but it's it's still really sad. Yeah, I feel about when you hear about things like that now. Like when Mary and I said, "I'm over being offended by sexism." Right. I mean, sure, it's horrible, but I'm over being upset about it at this point. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm more like I'm more interested in looking for other ways to get funding yeah. than worrying about that. Right, and this is the kind of thing I was just talking with a very good friend of mine about. Um, uh, New Music Box actually, and he stopped reading New Music Box a while ago, and they've they've since kind of moved on from this. But they they used to have a lot of articles about how terrible the situation was for new music and composers and all all these other things. And it's you kind can, of a downer. You can spend well, it's a downer, but it's also not productive to right, spend yeah, all exactly. of your time worrying about this thing instead of solving the problem. Yeah. Uh, in in solving it creatively, I mean, solving the problem by just adding uh, mm -hmm. new organizations that do basically the same things as the old organizations mm -hmm. is just adding to the problem. So, well, cr creative solutions, I think, is the way to go. Well, I, I'm all for creative solutions, and I think that's what artists have to do in the interim. But um, I don't think we should take this lying down, the, you know, the degradation of arts funding by our government. Hmm. Because there's, if 
I know government, I know economy is really terrible and everyone's like, well, you know, why are we spending money on frivolous things like the arts? But um, if you don't have the arts, then what is what do we have to live for? Like, why or why do we bother fighting for our, our rights or, you know, fighting the terrorists or, you know, I mean, I understand that there's only a limited amount of funds, except in defense. <laughs> um, and like, there's no point there. Our quality of life is going to be so poor if we don't have the arts. I'm not just talking about classical music or, you know, contemporary music, all arts. Like sure. what, why do we bother living? Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Um, well, I think what a, what a politician would say is that hmm. why does the government need to spend money on the arts when people are going to spend their their own money on the arts and arts that aren't making enough money to survive don't de don't deserve to survive? You know, they'll, they'll point to popular music and say, "See, these guys are making money hand over fist. Why can't you do what they're doing?" Mm -hmm. Well, they'll say the same thing it, about poor people. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. yeah, I think those are the same people that we shouldn't be listening to. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think that it's a, it's, true. it's a difficult call. Like take Oklahoma for instance. We don't know what's going on in Oklahoma, but I would, you know, uh, I would be willing to bet there are children who are hungry in Oklahoma. You know, that's not to say that that their life isn't affected by you know corruption or whatever that's going on in that state. But it's uh, I, I feel if, I'm of two minds about it. I think, uh, you know, the government funding arts in some capacity, I'm all for. And, and maybe uh, changing the format of like what higher level institutions try to do for the arts might be a better thing to do.